What a great pleasure it is to welcome to What's Next, Vaughn Naidu, who's the General Manager for B2B Technology Center of Excellence at MTN. Now, Vaughn, that is uh, quite a title. Firstly, it's really, really good to see you again. Um, tell me about the, the B2B Technology Center of Excellence at MTN. What do you guys focus on? Yeah, Aki, very nice to see you as well. Um, so the B2B is obviously a business to business, and the COE stands for Center of Excellence. Um, we are primarily there to drive the ICT objectives of Ambition 2025. So as a first phase, uh, we're looking at cloud, um, security, unified communications, IoT, and then managed network services um, as go-to-market strategies. Okay. Okay, so it's quite interesting. It's uh, it's exciting stuff and uh, certainly very relevant in today's market. I see you've partnered with Microsoft, and uh, I, I, I want to ask you why Microsoft and why Microsoft is the ideal technology partner for MTN in Africa. Yeah, okay, so um, firstly, um, it aligns with Ambition 2025, which has a significant statement that says everybody deserves the benefit of a digitally connected um, um, lifestyle. I think the second thing for me is if you look at some stats in the market today, um, the United Nations indicated that only 33% of Africans actually has internet connectivity um, in 2021. So if we talk about digital divides, it's right there in your face. And I believe the partnership between um, MTN um, and Microsoft can assist in closing um, that gap. So it's quite a nice opportunity to do something good, um, in my opinion. Well, it's certainly very exciting. And, and, and for me, the exciting part is when you, when you look at those uh, communities that are underserved in this digital divide, and when you look at how many million people, you know, not, not 100 million, not 200 million, it's over 300 million people that are going to be connected to the internet for the first time in the next three or so years. That is so exciting for me, and it presents so many opportunities. Could you expand upon the, 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 the technologies that MTN will now have access to due to your partnership with Microsoft? Yeah, so before we go there, Aki, okay, I mean, if, if we look at some of the trends that's happening in the market, um, some significant ones like cloud has failed, not once, not twice, a few times. And I think we all have forgotten that, you know, one man's data center is, is another man's cloud. Now, why that is significant is that we didn't think cloud would fail, and there was a big race in terms of all organizations moving into the cloud. But given that, you know, companies will now need to have more than one um, sort of cloud, um, to use that term, which for me is quite important. I think the second thing is um, the hyperscalers have also come out now and indicated that not all workloads is suited for the mm. cloud. Now, that's based on various reasons, whether it is um, latency, whether it's just, you know, not compliant, but it's quite a, a, a big statement. The third thing, Aki, um, is cloud's its own ecosystem, right? So it's not just mm. what people traditionally think about it in terms of infrastructure as a service or platform as a service. It actually has all the services you would need to consume um, to actually run your business. As an example, Microsoft Azure has more than 200 offerings in its, in its current ecosystem. Then I think the last thing which we touched on is security. Um, not a week um, goes by where we don't see another security breach happening. And then the last thing I just want to speak about is the fact that um, data is no longer centered. And, and let me just explain a little bit on that. You know, back in the day, we all had a server under our desk that held, you know, all our data. Um, but in today's world, you know, we're storing data on our machines, we're storing data in the cloud, we're storing data in, 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 in the data center. And for me, that changes um, the landscape. So when we specifically look at Microsoft, um, they tick all the boxes. So we look, talk about productivity. One cannot argue that they're not the leader in that space. And that talks to mm. things like Office 365. Then we talk about collaboration, you know, brilliant solution called Teams um, that most people use. Um, not a days go by um, where I don't, as an example, have a Teams meeting. Then from a cloud perspective, they've got Azure. 
Uh, and like I mentioned, it's a complete ecosystem with more than 200 offerings um, in it. And then there's also the advanced services, you know, artificial intelligence. Um, there's the data lakes that they also have. They've got the plain, you know, vanilla storage, which I love the name called Blob. So what's nice with this, Aki, is that when having a conversation with a customer, you have all the tools um, to actually meet that customer's objective. So that for me is the, 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 the real strategic intent. No, absolutely. And, and certainly Microsoft uh, have, have got that full bouquet, as you mentioned, with all those kinds of services and really delving into that AI and the, 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 the big data stuff. It's, it's extraordinary the depth of their products that they have. Yeah. And of course, all powered by Azure, which is, uh, you know, with all the data centers. So exciting stuff. Now, when you look at these technologies, um, and I guess at the end of the day, organizations want to add technology to improve processes and add more agility to organization. How, how do you see these technologies improving how clients can do business going forward? So for me, Aki, if we look at the world pre-COVID and we look at the world now, um, it's fundamentally changed. And we're now living in this hybrid um, sort of world and I think many organizations have not adapted their business continuity models. I mean, you've heard that, um, you know, that famous song, right? Papa was a rolling stone, you know, in, in this scenario, wherever your, <laughs> <laughs> in this scenario, wherever your, your mobile device is, where your laptop is, that's where your office is, right? So again, um, with, the Microsoft bouquet of offerings, you know, no matter where your office is at, uh, no matter what structure you're working in, whether you've got plans to go fully back to the office, whether it's hybrid, whether it's fully remote, um, the ability to change and adapt to what's required now from a business continuity perspective, Microsoft ticks all the boxes. Um, mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. if you're sitting, you know, in a remote location, you have the tool set still to collaborate in teams um, and you have the mechanisms to, you know, protect them data. I think the one thing that's also overlooked often from a Microsoft perspective is they've got a phenomenal um, security operations center solution called Sentinel. So even yes. the, the aspect of securing um, your business um, is effectively there, which, you know, like we said, you know, not a week goes by. <laughs> And there's a security breach, right? Yeah, no, absolutely. It's it's uh, it's very concerning, and um, you know, it's uh, it's interesting how many organisations are not properly prepared uh, for these kind of uh, breaches that may happen. It's not when they are going to happen, uh, or it's not if they're going to happen. It's, it's when, when they're going to happen, because at the moment it's it's crazy what's going on out there with cyber security. I was reading with great interest in the press release about this particular partnership between MTN and Microsoft, and you mentioned that Microsoft will help in skilling MTN resources. Could you expand on this? How, how is this going to work, and how will this benefit your clients? Yeah, thanks, Aki. So um, I had the privilege of presenting at the IT Web CIO banquet um, a couple of weeks back. And one of the big items in terms of why digital transformation projects fail is skills. So it, it's a global phenomenon. It's, it's not a South African related thing. It's not a Microsoft related thing. It, it's, it's global. And when there are skills, Aki, um, these skills are spread thin because they're used for all things. So I'm very impressed um, in terms of the onboarding that Microsoft has done for MTN. We've sat in a room and, I've de and identified strategically what our objectives are. And Microsoft has created plans in terms of that to educate um, our staff. And obviously those skills will then be used um, to assist customers from offering them you know, managed services or just professional um, sort of consulting and, and guidance. But what's more important for me um, is the, the, the school fees that's being shared. So it's not just you know, the education in terms of there's 200 SKUs for Azure, you know, and storage is called Blob. It's actually the conversation about this is how you approach things. You know, this is typically what CIOs are looking for and this is how you map it. So it's the basic education plus how to engage, you know, how to position correctly. 
um, and it's really been phenomenal. It, it, it's, you know, one should never use a sausage machine as a, as something that you would try to sort of get to, but the training and education and upskilling has really been that good, you know, that we are, it's becoming a bit of a sausage machine in terms of what we are actually getting out. Well, that's fantastic to hear because the skills shortage is uh, probably the biggest problem in the ICT sector. And as you correctly say, it's not just South Africa, it's globally. And, you know, I keep also saying this to people is that there's this misconception that to be a security specialist or an IT specialist, you need to have some form of degree in computer science and that it's not the case. Those skills are available for everyone to learn and we just need to empower people in learning those skills, which is, uh, and I'm glad, glad that you guys have, have got this running in your program. When you look at this announcement and, and, and you look at this partnership, are there any areas of the industry in particular that you are going to be focusing on with this partnership or are you looking at it more broadly? I think broadly, um, because the solutions are horizontal. So, you know, a base of Microsoft's offerings covers the entire market. But specific focus areas for us is the small and to medium business market. I think it's something that most companies, telcos have really tried to crack. Um, but we've got a strategic focus on that. And especially since it's tied to some of the other work that we're doing in terms of crafting a new marketplace. Mm. And then the second one, Aki, top of mind for me is mining, um, where we have a very strong 5G drive, specifically private networks, and then enabling that with IoT um, technology to make those um, devices smart. So looking at use cases whereby we, you know, trying to add sensors to, to machines to get more data, but also looking at remote, you know, sort of controlling of those devices. So definitely mining is a, is a big target area, um, the SMB area, and then obviously just generic um, horizontally. Okay, so it's, it's a pretty broad brush stroke over there, which is great. And then, of course, that small and medium-sized business market, it's, of course, the powerhouse of, of the country's economy, and, uh, and it's growing at, at a fantastic rate. So I'm, I'm excited to hear that. Now, if businesses want to interact, they've been listening and they're saying, listen, we need to speak to MTN. We need to take advantage of this partnership with Microsoft and, and look at the services that are available and how we can use them within our businesses. How, how does one get in touch? How does one start engaging to say, I need this, I need that, I need that? What's the best way to go about it? You call 083. No, 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 <laughs> kidding. Um, <laughs> so I, I think the, the, the best way is obviously to engage MTN business. Um, what's key for me is this is a consultative um, engagement, but we will have all the offerings on our online presence, but the best is always just to, you know, get in touch with us. Um, it's the best. And, you know, again, from my perspective, um, I can, no CIO is ever going to get fired for choosing Microsoft. Um, we cannot argue with the fact that um, the workloads that we are looking at today a big proportion of it was created by Microsoft, especially when you look at something like Windows Server. And you can't argue that those um, workloads are not best suited for the people that actually mm -hmm. created it. So, you know, online, get in touch, um, happy to assist Fantastic. anyone. Uh, Vaughn Naidu, the General Manager, B2B Technology at the Center of Excellence at MTN. Uh, a fantastic announcement, a great partnership with Microsoft and uh, really looking at those, uh, those small, medium-sized businesses, big businesses, MTN focusing on this partnership with Microsoft. So give them a shout and see if they can help with your business needs. They certainly have uh, some great solutions available. Vaughn, thank you so much for your time and uh, good luck with this new chapter and good luck with this uh, new partnership. I have no doubt that it's going to grow and, and just to drive business uh, to a different level altogether. So congratulations, and we look forward to watching the progress. And I look forward to chatting to you in a year from now and say, this is what we've achieved, and this is what the next step is for the MTN Technology Center of Excellence. No, thanks, Aki. It was really nice getting in All touch the, with you again. Thank you, this sir. Was really All the good. best. Thank you.